Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with Desfocus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is February 22nd. The time is around 3 a.m. GMT. Uh, today we are going to look at the chart of the NVDA. 60 minute chart. Now we can see it has ended with 1. This is a primary degree here. And then uh, now we are doing this with two pullback in the form of an expanded flat. Uh, so this is your A here. Uh, we're counting this as a three swing and then this is a three swing uh, before going down again. And the pull of uh, the decline here looks kind of impulsive at the moment. So uh, looks like a five waves. Uh, so far we still have a divergence at the lows. Again suggesting that should be close to finishing with 5 as long as we don't erase the divergence if we erase that means we probably still within the wave 3 here but as long as the divergence is here then we can uh, say that it is currently um, maybe soon going to be ending the wave 5 now the problem with the expanded flat or any kind of flat is that um, the because it is a 5 waves it is not easy to be able to get the range where it should be ending. <coughs> we can still use the approximate 100%, 161.8%, but unlike ABC zigzag or WXY double correction, in an expanded flat, uh, the C-leg of an expanded flat sometimes can go beyond the 1.618, uh, and that usually happens quite often as well. So this is not technically a very safe sort of level uh, when we are talking about expanded flat. But regardless, I think the main side and the main buy still remains to be higher, um, and this current correction or this current decline sell-off can extend a little bit more. But then, uh, once this five ways is complete, we should be at least getting a three-ish reaction higher, if not going to a new high again. Okay. So if we zoom out now to get a better idea where we are in the larger time frame, let me copy one here. So here is the weekly time frame. This is your with one. Uh, basically, we are looking for a with two here before higher again, right? Now, I think a couple of things first. Now you can see we have already corrected uh, a lot from you know 350 all the way down to 100. It's, it's a pretty sizable correction, right? All time correction more than 50%. Uh, all time correction from 350 all the way down to almost $100. Now you can see. Since we bottom on October, uh, we have already broken above this bearish channel here. So what that means is this cycle is over, right? If this cycle is over, basically what we expect is we can either uh, go to new high again, but because it is a weekly chart, that process will take months and years, multi-years basically, right? Eventually, it starts the new bullish leg on the upside. Or another option will be doing even a bigger a correction on the downside or sideways for years to come right so three options either we are ready to extend higher again eventually after many years uh, or sideways for many many years or uh, doing a double correction now what we can say for sure here is that this cycle is over uh, from the peak to the low right second thing that we can say is that this entire rally from let's say if this is the starting point this is an impulse so that means the longer term is bullish, right? The longer term for this stock is bullish. This is not like a bearish stock or anything like that. Uh, another thing we can say is that the rally since we bought them in October, right? Th last year, the rally so far is only three swing, right? The rally so far is only three swing. One, two, three. So um, we're calling this with one, right? Not because... We are seeing that the entire rally from here is a five ways. This with one two here is actually a nest, so we got a one two and then another uh, one two again. So um, we have another one two here basically, right? An, in a higher degree one two basically, right? So something like this one two here. So this is a one two one two nesting because it's only three swing. Now the other option because it is a three swing is that um, this is just a one two three and this is a three and then uh, if if it is an S the conclusion is it should go higher 
right? In a width 3 of 3. If this is 1, 2, 3, 4, conclusion is still the same. You, we should go higher again, at least one more leg. So two options that we have, again, require another leg up. Whether you want to call this 1, 2, 1, 2, or whether you want to call this 1, 2, 3, 4, that requires another leg up. Now, the one that doesn't require another leg up basically suggests that this is a EBC. Now, if you are counting this EBC, that means you believe that this is only a correction and then eventually it's going to break below this again because you're counting this as an ABC, right? Now, the thing is, if you are counting as an ABC, the only issue is that, let's say if it breaks below that low again, okay, the problem is the way you are looking for the target on the downside, then this becomes your first leg and this becomes your second leg, right? So again, you are looking for a big three swing pullback and then the 100% extension is negative $7. Never gonna happen, right? Stock never gonna go anywhere close to $0, right? Unless it goes bankrupt. So the, with the assumption NVTA is a solid company, it will not go bankrupt, then uh, there is nowhere we get near this target level. So therefore, counting this as an ABC is not a good idea. All right, this this rally from October 2022. So then we are left with the option. Now I know sometimes uh, even if it breaks below here, we might truncate. Truncate means it doesn't go to eco leg. It might truncate here at 61.8, 76.4. Yeah, it's possible truncation happen. But again, the assumption now is that um, when when you have a sequence of high high lower low, uh, you don't try to forecast a truncation. Typically, what you're doing is you're going to extend it to the 100%. Now, because the the extension here is going to negative, so we conclude that uh, I think it's not a good idea to label this as an ABC. So your options become 1, 2, 1, 2, nest, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Both options or both scenarios require another leg up at least, right? So that means uh, overall we are, uh, I think it's better to be on the bullish side at this point with the NVDA. So any pullback therefore should find support now in 3711 swing. For now it's against this low here. All right, so either this is 1, 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 1, 2. This is a base in which you can expect for the upside again. And the correction can, can extend a little bit deeper. There's no question about that, but it doesn't change the main logic or the main bias, the main right side, right? So for now, in the one hour, back to the one hour, uh, basically what we are looking here is we're looking for some sort of expanded flat. And once this is complete, we can go up. Another option will be just simply moving one here. And this five ways down is just your first leg of the decline. So once this is complete, you're going to get a reaction, but the reaction will fail to go to new high and do another leg down again. Again, if that's going to be happening, really it doesn't change anything. So you can see in the weekly, all it is doing is basically um, a rally after five ways down and then another leg down and then higher. So it doesn't really change anything whether this is one to one, two or one, two, three, four. Eventually, I think the bias still remains to be more upside. Okay, so that's the update here. And if you do want more updates on NVDA or any other stocks, indices, ETF, uh, Forex, cryptos, commodities, uh, you can try and uh, check our service. We are for the this trial. The link is in the description of the video. So see you all again next time. Have a nice day, everyone.